Mo, where have you gone? Paolo, are you running away already? Ugh, how have we got a sentiment with Jacques but with no one else? No, stop it, stop it, stop it. Hello from the void, I'm finally back home and rocking the world's messiest bun because I can't step into the shower just yet. Part four of my not so very challenge, we're back with Floor and we are trying to get her promoted. We, we are trying to see if there is anything there with either of the red sims that we met in the last episodes. We've got Paolo and Mo. Just generally try and get her life in order, but I think I need to start making a task list because I genuinely find the number of things I'm meant to do so overwhelming and floor is such a disaster area like she literally cannot do what she's told and she's just constantly breaking stuff and in a terrible mood so that's making it really really hard to try and move the challenge along but hopefully we'll make some progress today or will we so we have invited little miss mo to the coffee shop with us and you can get your first look at what she looks like with her little makeover i didn't really mess with her genetics too much i just mostly added some face details and like tweaked her a little bit and hopefully she'll come in and have a coffee with us. Darko. Mo, where have you gone? Well, rude. The face when you realise you've been blown off once again by your potential love interest. So you just decide to eat your pastry and ignore Balagoth. We've had a second go at inviting Mo to come hang out with us because having put the effort into making her over and she is really, really stinking cute, I would like to see if maybe she might be into us. My increasing headcanon for Floor is that she grew up with this really wealthy family and they were just like, you deserve the best, you deserve the best, nothing but the best, but then she doesn't necessarily feel like she is the best, she's clumsy, things seem to go wrong for her, she's not really naturally good at anything, but because she had money she didn't really have to be, so now she's kind of trying to get away and get this new start and she's torn between wanting to make a big impression and have everyone be really impressed by her and the fact that actually she doesn't really know what she has to offer, um, so she's looking for both validation and status, which is always a messy combination and ends up with her taking on things that she's really not qualified to do just yet and you know saying things on fire let's see if we can give her a number i think we definitely want to take things slow what i'm thinking for floor is that we've now got mo who is like definitely adorable definitely girlfriend material she's a librarian which goes well with our science aspirations why are we just walking around with this trash and then we've got our sort of opposites attract with paolo who is Let's face it, pretty good looking meat. Maybe we'll feel things out with both of them and see who Floor is like more naturally into, who actually turns up when we invite them out, you know, that sort of basic thing. Floor's got up and done her morning routine and as she's done that I've realised that ageing was turned off, so that's not turned on. Today is collection day, so we need to collect some more specimens for the lab. Dig, dig, dig in. Trenton seems pretty happy that we're friends with Mo. He's been our highest romantic interest so far, but he is an adult, which means we don't have so long to explore things with him. And also, he's kind of basic. So we might try and friend zone him and see how that goes. We found some social light. What, like a chunk? Serial killer styling? Hopefully no. I wanted to water you, my friends. Well, we've done ourselves another sheet mask and we're playing with butterflies. You're taking your work dead seriously, Flo. We've got some punium. How do we upgrade Brad, our Simmery? And we have successfully upgraded Brad, the Simmery, so that we can transform objects. Oh, while well, we're making better friends with Chiella, what have we transformed this computer into? No? Oh, a worse laptop. Let's transform a collectible. Definitely seems a waste of an emerald. And you've transformed this gem into a basket of blankets. Transform a chest. I think she's just standing around and fuming next to us. Like, that doesn't seem a productive use of your rage or your time. <laughs> the main goal for today is to have enough money that we can buy a computer so that we can work on our causing mischief. We're not going to get promoted today, so I'm not that fast if she wants to spend some time dancing. We need to pay our bill, and I spent all of our money on decorations and this ratchety old computer that looks like the one I had in 1997. That hopefully will enable us to finish up this next stage of the Chief of Mischief. Me 
Daisy Grove. Pray about oh, shoot, oh. Shoot, 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 a song about Spooky Day. We haven't had any trick or treaters, which is a bit sad, but I guess maybe they all got eaten by the evil plant. Got a bunch of these, send them all off to the geological council. No! Oh my god, Floor, stop that. What are you doing? I suddenly realised as I clicked to do it that it might turn it into a much worse computer or a bag of towels. I still can't find the mischief interactions though. I know I'm gonna jinx it the second I say this, but at least nothing has broken so far. Oh, Mo wants to go on a date, but we have to go to work. Well, let's go for like 10 seconds. Maybe we'll be a little bit late for work. I mean, I know that's counterproductive, but we can be like an hour late, right? And Mo has her little cold weather outfit on. How are you doing? Why are we calling other people whilst we're on a date? Not a fan of that. Oh, we call Paolo while we're out with Mo. Sorry, Mo. So we've manifested next to Jacob for the beginning of this work day, but we need to go find the rocket ship. Where you at, little rocket ship? I mean, that was incredibly quick. And we want to chat with Gianna, so let's go find her. And cute, Jacob and Gianna are having a little work party this morning, and Flo's gonna run over and join them, and she finally seems not to be afraid of her workplace, which is nice. What a fob! So we need to get a rose so that we can make rose perfume serum, but we literally don't have enough money for it. We've got £83 in the entire world, so that's not going to happen. Jacob, where are you? Oh, she's pretty hungry, so we're going to go make her find Jacob, and then we'll get her something to eat from the work fridge, which we as yet have left unmolested, which is nice of us. All the way up to the upstairs kitchen to make BLT. And I can't even eat it because I am a vegetarian. Angry, angry Gianna. Can we talk about work? Cleverly kick Gianna off the microscope so once we finish discussing our work with her, we can use this. Gianna wants to yell at us, but I don't think we have to stand around and take that. Stampy, stampy. I think she has the hot headed trait, which is why she is behaving like this, or possibly she is descended from the dinosaurs. And I think the co worker we should get to know is SD Jason, because he's been quite nice to us, despite the fact that we have repeatedly screamed in his face. Uh, he wants to hug us, but he doesn't want to give us his DNA. Did I just tell him someone died? I suspect I did. I do actually need to go up a mischief level because I've realised the reason I can't troll anyone on the forums is because I don't have level 4 mischief and you can't get that option until you do, so I need to do some mischief. But not at the cost of all my friendos. Possibly Gianna's just angry because she's walking through walls and that does look painful. Ooh, we got some creepy tanks downstairs, I didn't actually even know this was here. Let's share our insecurities with Jacob. I moved to this town to make a fresh start and everyone was going terribly. I'm like, what do I do? And he's like, just be yourself. You're okay. So ask for his DNA again. He's like, sure, take my DNA. What are you going to use it for? It's fine, I trust you. Despite the fact I have no reason to trust you. That being just one of the reasons why. I think that's a new one. Ghoul black ozone. So we took a second, we bought ourselves a rose, and then we blitzed the rest of our money on putting this teeny tiny extension onto the house, which has got our science room in it. So we've got the lamp that we got for work, and we've also put up our posters and our microscope thingy. We really need to buy her a table so she stops going out to this bench when she's really, really tired to eat. Oh, lights off, lights off. May wants to come over. We've got work in two hours, but sure. Your favourite holiday is the lottery, that's weird. Oh, that's a clothes you were wearing. Took this opportunity to go and have a quick look at what sexuality flaws automatically generated, and she is a bisexual. I have to constantly intervene to stop her just spending her entire work day boogieing on down, which is kind of cute. So we need to invent the hover lamp, but first we're going to chat with the doodad for 10 minutes. I like that he sounds like Wally. And as suspected, we have once again been asked to make the rose serum, and hopefully that means we will be able to get a promo to it. So we need to propose a crazy scheme. Gianna doesn't seem very stressed today, so maybe we could do that with her. Got a mad idea that we want to tell you about. Where's she gone? 
What do you think? I just can't set anything else on fire. Isn't that wild? And I'm feeling awkward. I like that Lucas has to do his work on this little kiddie computer, which we turned one of the high spec computers into with our ray gun called Brad. I'm gonna ask, see if I had good luck with Gianna Holmes and go see if she will give us a crystal today. Oh, she's angry again. She's always angry. Oh, for the first time ever, someone wants us to go talk to Jacques. Meh. I'd really, really like to be promoted. Just because when we start having babies, we're not going to be able to be at work so often, so it'd be really helpful if we were a little bit ahead of the game. You can ask Jacques for help cleaning Dara, apparently. Hey boss, I know we hardly know each other because I literally never speak to you, but how about you give me some of your DNA for testing? Oh, well, if you're going to do mischief on us, we're going to do it right back on you. <laughs> also, you really like that, so. How do I give him an untested serum? There is the test serum option. Oh, I don't want to make him flirty, really. Can't believe you drank that, idiot. We have just enough time. Ask him for a metal. One last chance, we've got ten minutes. Stop flirting with me, dude. Ugh, how have we got a sentiment with Jacques, but with no one else? No, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Somehow we did get despite that, but we also potentially have our very elderly boss thinking that we're into him, so that's not ideal. So we're back from work, and aside from being hungry, we're in pretty good shape, so we're gonna head out for dinner. We decided to send Flora friends to this bar and not an eatery because we're too poor to eat in a restaurant. Possibly they haven't all shown up. Paolo, are you running away already? Outrageous. So Maria's turned up, despite the fact she likes us the least. I'm not sure anyone else from our group is actually here. Absolute rudeness of it. Where is Mo? It said everyone was coming with us, but no. You enjoying your sparkling water, Maria? You're very uncomfortable. Oh no. She didn't already hate us, she really will now. She was desperate for the living room, made her drink sparkling water, and now she's wet herself in a bar. I feel like this is just the problem with Flora. She was like, I want to go to a bar. I want to buy you a drink. No, let me just finish my story first. And now, now look what's happened. Our outings are generally quite terrible. On that note, I'm going to have her go and choose herself to this young adult who is wearing a red top because both of our so far flirts have failed to arrive. So maybe Tabitha. He's definitely got a certain country kitchen oh, charm. Sorsbarinka! Bruhana Delova. I know we just met and you don't know me, but if you had to guess, why would you say no one will love me and no one turns out when I invite them out? And no one wants to hang around with me. Do you think it's because I'm insecure? Do you think it's because I'm needy? Ah. Oh. Just me again. Yes, I know I still don't know your names, but would you say I am garbage? Trash? Bluebe. No Oh, and Bora. Mm, goodbye. Floor is feeling pretty shitty. So it's Thursday, which means we've got another day at work, and we are a couple of Blake breakthroughs, a couple of breakthroughs away from where we need to be. Oh, and it's Harvest Fest. Goody. I'm gonna vlog these little buddies. I know it's not good form, but I just actually don't want them to spend the entire day breaking my stuff. So we've got an extra bit of money and we will use that to buy her a dining table, which we're gonna somehow squidge in here. She's enjoying doing some decorations, we're not gonna fuck with the names, but what we will do at the end of the day is try and have a little gathering of some of our friends after work. Floor is back from work and I'm going to invite her friends, Mo and Jacob, and her almost friends and our new friend Tabitha over for Harvest Fest and then we're going to attempt to cook them a grand meal which is definitely going to go terribly. I'm going to try and help her out by cleaning up her house a bit because it's a little bit grim in here. Trenton obviously has come. Paolo is here. I think we might need some music and maybe a drinks tray. So we're going to get some drinks and cook some dinner for everybody. So part of the goal for this evening is telling Trenton we just want to be friends. Because your little beige suit is making me sad. Poor Gianna is having a terrible time, but Paolo is going to go play some chess with her. Hey, babe. And only Trenton wants to hang out with us. What do you mean I'm a fetid hiking boot? It's just because I have a wife? Now he's being mean. He seems pretty upset. 
Oh, that is an outfit from oh, someone's house. Oh, really, really. And we have made what looks like a pretty rancid grand meal for everybody, but we did make it. Everybody come and get some manky tofurkey. And everyone's gonna crowd around and pretend to swallow our delicious, delicious foods. And it's the sound of gagging. I mean, yeah, it looks really bad. It's kind of grey, but we did give it to you. So we've got Maria and Paolo are fighting, and me and Mo are making friends. Oh, yeah. Get out of here, Brandy. Her name's not even Brandy, it just feels like it should be Brandy. Well, that was a thing that you did, Mo. In some kind of power move, Mo has done a banshee scream and everybody else has run out of my house. So I feel like she's definitely the front runner. Well, it wasn't our worst ever gathering, but it wasn't brilliant, was it? At least we got the adequate, adequate party thing. And now we're gonna go sell all our decorations. So I feel like that could really be summed up as like a series of really terrible outings. I'm having such trouble getting groups to turn up where I asked them to be. Um, and at this point, I don't really feel like either of the Sims the floor has her eye on are really that into her. Like Paolo just keeps like walking out. And Mo is like a little bit hot, a little bit cold, she keeps calling, but then she sometimes doesn't show up and she's not that flirty with us, so I don't know if she's actually that into us. Like maybe she's not even gay. So I feel like when the weekend comes we need to send both Paolo and Mo on a date with Floor to see if there are any sparks there because um, part of a later generation is for the third generation to have a good relationship with Floor. And obviously if she's dead that can't happen, so I do need to try and make her have kids earlier in life. But maybe she doesn't do it in a planned way because the girl is chaotic. We will see. I also just want to say a massive thank you to the five people who have subscribed. Um, very flattered and charmed and happy about it. Uh, thank you so much to Morgan for leaving my first ever comments. Bye!